What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unclickable's third tutorial. Yeah. Okay, um, basically what we're going to do in this tutorial is work on that uh, smiley face texture, but we're going to encapsulate it inside of an object to make it a little bit better so we can store uh, information about it and I'm going to show you that. So how to load it up. We're going to load up Windows Game 2. Now if you haven't if you haven't watched the tutorial before this don't worry about it. Um, basically I'll just give you a rundown. Um, we got the smiley face picture right here. Here we go. Yay. Pretty good. And all we did was basically uh, make a texture 2D right in the game one class. But, uh, I mean, it all depends on how you like to, uh, I messed up the screen. You like to program, but, uh, I'd recommend you wouldn't put it in there. But let's, uh, let's, so let's, let's get started. Let's make a, uh, a game object here. I'm going to hide some of this stuff. Um, Basically, let's see here, we're going to go to, we're going to add a class. So let's do that really quick. New item. Class, we're going to call this smiley object. Okay. There we go. I'm going to make it public. So uh, things outside can see uh, can see it, but I'm sure you know that if you're a C-sharp programmer. Okay, and we're going to make the uh, constructor. So uh, public smiley object. Okay. Basically, we'll do it like that. We'll do the position. Like when you construct it, you'll tell it, hey, where I want the position. So let's go uh, vector up. I forgot to add the references. Good thing to do is to add your X and A references. So let's go dot uh, Microsoft. Um, I think it's Microsoft. There we go. So we're going to add a vector 2 in there for the position. And then we're going to add a, a public. Well, actually, we'll make it private. It doesn't need to be public. In the future, it might be, but this will store. Okay. Name this one capital position. So we'll say position equals, oops, equals position. And then we're going to load up that texture 2D like we did in the game CS, like this. I mean, we can go ahead and just cut this out because we're not going to be using it anymore. Go to the smiley object, paste that in there. We need to put the reference to the uh, graphics. Okay, so we have that. Now let's, oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention. To load the smiley, we're going to need a uh, reference to the content manager. So, we're going to need Okay, so I'll add that reference, and then we'll add the uh... Okay, let's go back to our game CS. We're going to take out that uh, load. So Some people like to make, uh, like you can make this, they have interfaces 
basically. And uh, we'll get in, into that more, but they have a draw interface and an update interface, so then you know for sure a fact that you have that update command. And it's a little bit better to use rather than some generic class like this, so you can put more things into one list and update them all at the same time. But for this example, we're just going to go ahead and do it like this. Um, okay, so we have that. Now we're going to make an update. We're going to make it public. So public void update. And a good idea is to put game time in here because if you want to move something or something like that, it's good to use game time and I'll explain why later and what game time is actually. Um, so we'll put um, there. Um, okay. So here's our update, and then we're going to make a draw. And we need a sprite batch to reference, because the sprite batch is what actually draws it onto the screen. So let's get that. Okay. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to go back into the game CS right here, and we're going to take this line of code out. Okay? We're going to transfer it, basically, over to our new object, the sprite batch. Um, just make sure everything's spelled correctly. Okay, so what do we got? We got the sprite batch. We're going to draw the smiley texture. We're going to use a vector. But we're not going to use this new vector. We're going to use the position right here. Okay. So basically, we got that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a list. of um, the smiley objects, 